It's about eliminating the mistakes. All right, let's see how, how this game is here. All right, that's good. We got that out the way. I love getting that key early, man. That helps. Now, if I can find the other seven items I need, we're in business. I need a purse and turbo time for Amy. I really don't need that. All right, we got one. Oh, we have one. We need six more. That's some crazy drawings, Jimmy drawing. You see Jimmy's um, drawing skills, right? Like a two-year-old. All right. We have two. We got Amy's purse. I really don't need the scrimmer since I know where everything's at. Unlock this uh, stairwell. All right, let's go. All right, one of my friends is in there. I need five more items. Don't don't need that. Really, I don't. All right. We have three. Four more. We have four. We got Amy out the way. I just need the chef's hat, the paddle. Ah, I hate that thing. I hate that mirror. Ah, uh, two mirrors. Okay. Got everything we need. Let's get downstairs.
there's anyone there. Hello? What's your name? I'm Amy Bell. I'm Tess. I saw a girl in the basement crying. Who was she? belong to? It was mine. It was for my birthday, but it was stolen. I found a bottle of turpentine and a lighter. What were they for? I didn't know what they were until Jimmy showed me. When you said Jimmy stole things from you, is that connected with what you said about the purse? Is it Amy? Yes, I'm Amy. I saw you shouting to Jimmy to give your toy back. Why did he take it? Because he thought it was funny. He gave it back, but then ruined it anyway. What you said about Jimmy stealing your toy, does that have something to do with what you said about the turpentine and lighter? Is it Amy? Yes, I'm Amy. I saw you holding a toy on fire. What happened? My hand got burned. It was really hurting. I couldn't tell anyone.
Dr. Bose. I'm just here to have a little chat, okay? Thank you, Jimmy. I won't be long. That's the key I'm looking for right there. That helps a whole lot. That saves some time, man. Especially with Jimmy's crazy, but I don't have the uh, washing line rolling pin yet. Sometimes in there, or it could be anywhere on this on the side. But I'm looking for the heater. If the heater's in here, fine. If not, I know where it's at. Okay. Is someone there? Hello? What's your name? Dr. Bose. Dr. Bose? I'm a clinical psychiatrist. I saw a man knocking on a door, telling Jimmy he was there to help. Who was it? It was me. I got a call from Rose, Jimmy's mother. She wanted me to talk to Jimmy, find out what was bothering him. But Harvey was worried about Jimmy's mind and the things he was imagining. Who drew those violent pictures? Jimmy. He used to draw them. Who did the chef's hat belong to? Jimmy found it and put it on. When you said Harvey was worried about Jimmy's mind, does that have anything to do with what you said about those violent pictures? Let me unlock this real quick. That'll help me a whole lot. Yeah, I love when that second floor is in that same room. That helps a whole lot. Dr. Bose? Yes, I'm Dr. Bose. I saw you holding up a dead animal on a wire. What had happened? Jimmy was killing things, small birds, animals. I realized he needed to work on his empathy skills. So I asked him to think of something nice he could do for me. I was surprised. He came up with an idea right away. Why is there a blood-stained cloth in one of the drawers? It was mine. I kept it in case I needed it as evidence. When you said Jimmy came up with an idea to do something nice for you, is that connected to what you said about the chef's hat? Yes. Jimmy said he'd make something for me, so I followed him to see what he was going to do. This is a great idea, Jimmy. I reckon you'll make a great cook one day. 
Uh, why don't you bring it up to me when you're done? I'll wait for you, okay? Is it Dr. Bose? I saw you outside the kitchen talking to Jimmy. What were you doing? Jimmy was making me a sandwich. He brought it up to my room as I asked. I didn't suspect anything was wrong at first. Where did the bottle of diazepam come from? It can help treat impulsive behavior in some people. When you said you didn't suspect anything was wrong, does that have something to do with the blood-stained cloth? Is it Dr. Bose? Yes, I'm Dr. Bose. I saw you spitting out blood. What happened? Jimmy had put broken glass in my sandwich. I nearly choked on it. I kept the cloth and glass so I could go to the police, but I realized I'd underestimated Jimmy's illness. I simply had to step up his treatment urgently. Where did the wooden paddle come from? I don't know, but Jimmy found it. I saw a scrapbook with newspaper articles in it. Who made it? Jimmy made it. It was a warning. I should have seen it coming. When you said you needed to step up Jimmy's treatment urgently, does that have something to do with what you said about the diazepam? There's only four places the bats and the crossbows will be. That was one of them, so. All right, we got one for um, Harvey. Need five more for Harvey. Got two. Cause Jimmy should be coming out any minute, so I gotta hurry up. about now 
Hey, well, Jimmy. Okay, that's me cutting the audio off in the background. So I can hear Jimmy. It's not the game. I have that feature where I can remove it. Hey, he's coming. I gotta hurry up. It should be locked. Okay, it's not. It's good. Sometimes it is. Sometimes I'm just used to being locked all the time. Come on. I got the rusty keys. I need three more items for Harvey. Two more items now. This won't hurt, Jimmy. All you have to do is to stand still and stop moving around. Yeah, definitely need that. Is it Dr. Bose? Yes. I saw you with the needle talking to Jimmy. What were you doing? Jimmy Diffuse let me administer the drug. I had to chase him around the hotel. Then he told Rose I tried to force him to take it, that I'd used violence. It was ridiculous. When you said Jimmy refused to let you administer his medicine, is that connected to what you said about the wooden paddle? Jimmy said I used the paddle to beat him. I would never use violence against a patient. It was ridiculous. But Rose believed him. I really don't like going into wardrobe when I'm doing speed run because I kill your time, but I might have to because Jimmy's right around the corner. I'm here. Down here. This way. Jimmy?
I wish I had two eleven keys so I can go search for that last item or get that um wash line rolling pin, but I don't. Nope. I'm trying to see if yeah, storeroom key. I want to unlock that room, so that's my next spec strat right now. Let's go. I hope it's in here. If not here, 219. All right. 219 probably. I got to go there real quick. Two other rooms, 218 or 223. Jimmy no Sometimes Jimmy voice will throw you off a little bit too force like that on a patient Mrs. Hall. It goes against everything I believe in. You have to understand he's making it all up. Is it Dr. Bose? Yes, it's me. Why was there a washing line tied around a rolling pin? trying to explain what happened with Jimmy. You seem desperate. I was worried that Rose would believe Jimmy. It was a bare-faced lie. But I managed to convince Rose Jimmy was making it up. If the broken mirrors is not in here, it's in 306. That's the only two rooms the broken mirrors will be in. This room or 306. Help us in this one. All right, 306. There we go.
about everything, probably lying about the other stuff as well. Don't be ridiculous. He wouldn't lie about something like that. You sure about that? He lies about everything. Open your bloody eyes, Rose. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, that's right. Walk off. I'm not listening, Harley. You've just got it in for him. It's the truth. Is someone there? Hello? What, what's your name? Harvey. I run the place. I saw a man saying Jimmy had lied about the assault. Who was he? It was me. Jimmy had made accusations about the doctor. Rose believed him, but I'd heard that story somewhere before. I saw a scrapbook with newspaper articles in it. Who made it? Cutouts of news stories about abusive teachers and doctors. He wasn't a normal boy. Why is there an old heater marked dangerous? He was giving electric shocks. I kept it so the police could check it. When you said you'd heard the story somewhere before, does that have something to do with what you said about the scrapbook? It came straight out of it. As soon as I found that scrapbook, I knew where Jimmy had got it from. Down to every detail. Come on, Jim. I'm here. Down here. It's about that time, Jim. Let's go. Now, I do not have a key for this room. So, my other three items should be 309, 308. So, Jimmy better be in the bathroom. I gotta go. Better be in there, Jim. I'll be outside trying to bust my head open. I got places to go, buddy. People to see. Let's go. Uh, how 308 got a daylock key that'd be really nice there we go we and Miko talk to Harvey Jimmy might be blocking it right now. We'll see. All right, Jimmy, get out of here so I can talk to Harvey. All right, Harvey, your turn. I know you made it up, your little story about that psychiatrist. I know where you got it from. I knew I'd read it before. It's in your bloody scrapbook. Come out here. Jimmy! I got to listen for Jimmy here.
Is it Harvey? Yes. I saw you shouting, telling Jimmy to admit he lied. Did he? Of course he didn't. He just laughed. Then he started setting little traps for me. Some of them not so little. When you said Jimmy started setting traps for you, does that have anything to do with what you said about the dangerous heater? Jimmy was always playing with electricity. Funny how he was never the one who got shocked. me that easily, Jimmy. I think we should start again, don't you? Why don't you do what I ask you to do this time? That would be a good start, wouldn't it? Is it Dr. Bose? I'm Dr. Bose, yes. I saw you sitting on a bed talking to Jimmy. What were you doing? said Jimmy made up another lie about you. A much worse lie. Does that have something to do with what you said about the scrapbook? Jimmy accused me of the worst crime possible. He took it from a newspaper story he'd read. He was making it all up. I look for them pictures. All right, two twelve. Let's go. Yeah, Jimmy's coming up any minute. Jimmy. This way. Come on, Jim. I know you're there. Let's go. Come on, let's go, man. Jimmy. Let's go. Come on now. We're playing around, man. Do the hundred percent complete speed run. The short version, I probably won't break the record, but um, I have a shot to break the other one. So, let's go.
He better be in that bathroom. That's all I gotta say, man. Never know with this guy. find that sword quickly as possible. I'll do Amy and Harvey down here if I can. Gotta find that sword though. This might be a 109 if it's not in any of these other rooms. Yeah. I meant to check the, the drawer for 109, but look, since I'm going around, I might as well check while I'm here. I'm gonna check 120, 115, then I'll get the Wishmacut. Probably a 109 if it's not none of these. Say, so, yeah. Check 115, then get my butt around there. Never know. I got a feeling this in 109. Okay, it's locked, yep. Let's go right where I left off. It could be, it could be in 110 also, but let me check 109. I meant to check this earlier in the game. See, there you go. Now let's f go to 102 for Amy. Do all this on this floor. Is it Amy? Yeah, it's me. I saw you outside a room. Something frightened you. What was it? I was trying to find a doctor. What Jimmy threatened me and made me stay. Why was there a collection of whiskey bottles in one of the rooms? the sword belong to? Jimmy had it. I didn't like it. When you said you needed a doctor but Jimmy threatened you to stay, does that have anything to do with what you said about the sword? Is it Amy? Yes, I'm Amy. I saw you drinking something. You didn't seem to like it. What was it? The boy told me it was medicine. It tasted horrible. When you said the medicine tasted horrible, does that have anything to do with what you said about the whiskey bottles?
is it, Harvey? Yeah, it's Harvey. I saw you suffering an electric shock. What happened? He knew that was my heater. He had wired the casing straight to the mains. Almost killed me. He did it deliberately. But Rose wouldn't have it. I knew he needed to be taught a lesson. He damaged my property, so I decided to damage his. What were all the crickets and baseball bats for? I kept them. In case I needed them. Where was the crossbow from? It was from an armory display we used to have. Jimmy was fond of it. When you said you decided to damage his property, does that have something to do with what you said about the crickets and baseball bats? I kept those bats for self-defense. Oh, I was angry. I took one and went to Jimmy's room. Jimmy. I ain't trying to hide here too long, killing time. But he, when he's silent, you don't know where he's at. Okay. Hey! Say. I'm here. Down here. This way. Jimmy. Jimmy should stay on um, first floor for a while. I hope. Come on, Harvey. Come on out. out of a room. What had you done? I smashed up his television and games consoles and stuff. I was angry. But it didn't work. It just made him worse. He soon retaliated. What are those rusty old keys for? They were for the old boiler room door. When you said Jimmy soon retaliated, 
Does that have anything to do with what you said about the crossbow? Jimmy was fond of weapons like that. I hadn't seen him all night after I'd smashed his stuff. I should have guessed he'd been working on his next little trick. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Miss Smarts, how you, how you doing today? So glad to see you this morning or afternoon. You already know what I'm doing. I'm running away from Jimmy's crazy, but I hope everything's all right for you today. I appreciate you stopping by. being shot in the leg with an arrow. What happened? Jimmy had set it up to fire when I opened the door. I had to go into A and E, get stitches and tetanus shots. When I got back, I couldn't find him. Rose said he was hiding in the basement. I gave me an idea. Was there a fire at the hotel? Yeah. They managed to contain it, but I lost a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. When you said you thought Jimmy would like hiding in the basement, does that have something to do with those rusty keys? Well, if Jimmy wanted to hide down there, I thought he must like it. I hope Jimmy's not out here. Let me try to hurry up and get downstairs. That's why I say he should be on the sixth day on the first floor if I hurry up. you decided to take control once and for all. Does that have anything to do with what you said about the washing line and rolling pin? I experimented with the washing line, but it was too thick. I found some rope instead. I still had my keys to the hotel, so I crept in one night while I was on bail.
it Dr. Bose? I saw you tying a rope around your neck. You killed yourself. Why? I'd had enough. There was no going back. My life was over anyway. Well, work done it. There we go. I think I just figured it out. Behold, I am the great Hugo. I stand alone above all others. I am the light which illuminates the darkness. He better not be up here, I'll tell you that right now. Is it Amy? He better not be up here on the second floor and that. I saw you at the top of the stairs, on the banister. What were you doing? I felt really light. I really thought I could jump down to the bottom. Burn not, Jimmy. Okay. That's my fault. There's nothing wrong with the game. Nothing wrong. I went too fast on myself. I gotta hurry up, get downstairs. But Jimmy dude locks the stairwell because he takes the stairs. So that's good. There's nothing wrong. I just went a little ahead of myself. Is someone there? Come on, Harvey. Get out of here. How can we hear you? Is it Harvey? Yeah, it's Harvey. I saw you locking Jimmy in the basement. What happened? Damage down there. I was wrong. 
You said you were wrong to think Jimmy couldn't do any damage in the basement. Is that connected to what you said about the fire in the hotel? Nobody realised how far Jimmy would go to get attention. Is it Harvey? Yes. I saw a fire in the basement. What happened to the hotel? We managed to contain it before it got out of hand. Oh, photos and letters and everything were down there. It all went up in flames. Jimmy was out of control. I'd had enough of him. I wanted him gone. Who does the gun belong to? It was mine. Belonged to my father. Still had a few rounds with him. Who does the dagger belong to? It's not a dagger. It's a letter open. It's not supposed to be sharp. When you said you wanted Jimmy gone, does that have something to do with what you said about the gun? I'd lost it. I was seeing red. I hated him. I'd lost control. Jimmy, better not be up here. Yeah, hurry up. Get out of the hotel, Jimmy. Get out of my hotel. This is my hotel. Get out of my hotel, Jimmy. Is it Harvey? I saw you with a gun, practicing with it. What were you going to do? I don't know what I was going to do. Threaten him, get him out of the hotel. Problem was, I didn't realize he was going to be armed too. When you said you didn't realize Jimmy would be armed too, does that have anything to do with what you said about the dagger? It wasn't even a dagger. I never learned my lesson. Jimmy was always one step ahead of me. Bear not, Jim. Bear not.
Harvey. I saw you being stabbed backstage. What happened? Jimmy crept up behind me. I didn't see him. Jimmy always won in the end. Now, I hope Jimmy's not on too, because I want to do Rose's, throw her off. No, Jimmy. Someone there? Come on, Rose. Hello. What's your name? Rose Hall. Rose. Rose Hall. This is my hotel. I saw a lady explaining that the dagger was a letter opener. Who was she? You better not be out, Jimmy. You better not. And you better not be on the third floor right now either. You better not. No, Jimmy, no. Jimmy. Hey. All right, come on, Jim. Let's go. Let's go. Jimmy can't talk too much you better be in that bathroom that's all I gotta say I don't want you to be outside I gotta go I gotta talk to your mother real quick man let's be in that bathroom please <laughs> that laugh crazy.
Ginny. Is it Rose? Yes. Who are you greeting at the entrance and reception? Jimmy. He was coming home. The police understood. They believed him. But it changed him. He started helping me. Helping run the hotel. And he found a way of bringing in more guests. I found a bottle of turpentine and a lighter. What were they for? I don't know. They belong to Harvey. Who is Hugo Punch? It was Jimmy's comedy act. How did those mirrors get broken? Jimmy broke them. What was the coil of wire used for? Who wrote the note that says goodbye? Jimmy wrote it. Who did the wedding ring belong to? It was mine. Someone made me an offer I couldn't refuse. I saw someone on stage, a performer, announcing himself as the great Hugo. He was a magician and an entertainer. He bought the hotel to promote his stage show. He became famous. He was on television. I worked as his assistant. Then things developed. I heard a man shouting at someone, telling them to do as he says. Who was he? I never knew what he wanted. There was only one thing I could give him. When you said Jimmy found a way of bringing in more guests, is that connected to what you said about the Hugo Punch poster? Announcing Hugo Punch onto the stage. I was enjoying it. We were making money again. Everything seemed to be getting better until Jimmy started behaving oddly. I heard him shouting, staring at himself. He seemed angry. What you said about Jimmy staring at himself and becoming angry, is that connected to what you said about the broken mirrors? Jimmy should be on three, but I'm going to call him and come down on two so I can get up on three. I'm here. Down here. This way. Jimmy.
All right, come on, Jim. Get down here. Hey. I need to get upstairs. He's right where I need to be. I can't go past him. He'll bust my head open. I'm here. Come on, Jim. Down here. Let's go. Come down the stairs, Jim. All right, Jim, don't be acting that messing with the elevator now. I gotta get upstairs, bro. This happens every time. Every time this happens. You're trying to set me up, Jimmy. You're trying to set brother up. It's Rose. Let's go. Yes. I saw you standing in a corridor full of mannequins. Who put them there? He should be up here. There we go. Let's go. Gotta go, gotta go. It's Rose. Yes, I'm Rose. I saw you in the ballroom. The audience was booing and you were apologizing. What was happening? When you said Jimmy lost his temper and did something stupid, is that connected to what you said about the coil of wire? Jimmy locked her in a room and tied her up. I didn't know what he was going to do. I found her and let her go. Jimmy said it was a joke. She didn't press charges, but she told the newspapers. People were knocking on the door asking questions. 
said Jimmy wanted to leave everything behind and go, is that connected to the goodbye note? Jimmy hated what he'd done. He'd been fighting Hugo Punch all his life. It was inside him, making him do all those bad things. Jimmy didn't want to live anymore. Upstairs. It looked like you found someone in the bathroom. What happened? It was Jimmy. He tried to kill himself. That's why I had to tell him the truth. When you said things developed with Hugo, is that connected to the wedding ring? Jimmy should be out here. There he is. I gotta get to the third floor though. I hate going in here. Jimmy, I have no time to lock you in. I gotta get out of here. You better be in that bathroom. I gotta get to 305 quick. Better be in there. Jimmy's gonna come up here in about about 15, 20 seconds. Gotta focus here. Gotta focus. Find that thing quick and get out. Ah, the wrong side. Takes like 10 seconds just for that crap. Let's go. Jimmy. Better not be out here. He will, though. Any second, though. Right here about now. You should hear the door slam. See? I'm going anyway. That was good. He was on that side. That was good. Bye, Jimmy.
You better not be down here real quick like you be acting up lately and stuff. Gotta go, gotta go. Gotta talk to your mom real quick. Is that okay with you, Jimmy? I'm talking to her anyway, without your consent. Is someone there? Come on, Rose. I can hear you. Is it Rose? Who do you think, Maya? Yeah. Who did the baby's rattle belong to? It was for the baby. I kept it in my bedside drawer. You said there was only one thing you could give Hugo. Does that have something to do with the baby's rattle? Yeah, go for it. Uh, Jimmy should be on two, but he's gonna be by the elevator, so I'm going go on one and call him. Come down. He should. Never know. Jump. Gotta go, gotta go. Bye, Jimmy. Is anyone there? 
Come on now. I can hear you. Is it Rose? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes, I'm Rose. I found Jimmy's birth certificate. It says Hugo Hall is Jimmy's real father. Jimmy is Hugo's son in every way. When you said you had to tell Jimmy the truth, does that have something to do with what you said about Jimmy's birth certificate? Go. Darn you, Jimmy. All right, Jim. You know what I gotta do, so you better be in that bathroom. Don't be outside, man. Gotta go. Don't be outside. I'm telling you, Jim, don't do it. You said you couldn't live with yourself. Does that have something to do with what you said about the turpentine and lighter? I had no choice. Jimmy had gone to find Hugo's grave. I was alone. I knew what I should do. Jimmy should be on um the second floor still. I hope. I need him to come down one more time and I got him. Come on, Jimmy. I ain't even gonna call him. He should come down. He should come down. We might call him once, but he should be coming down. See?
were on fire. What happened? I know Hugo's your father, Jimmy. I found your birth certificate, and I know Rose tried to kill him. But she failed, didn't she? Then where is he now? <laughs> well, why don't you come and meet him? It's time I introduce you to the family, Maya. <laughs> as quickly as you can. Let's go. 
All right, Jim. You've been behaving yourself so far. Let's continue that way, okay, buddy? So you got one. Oh, I got four rooms on the first floor. Oh, my goodness. All right. Let's go. You better be in there. as quickly as you can. Run, girl, run. I right, come, Jimmy. All right, where's that key? Get ready. All right, I need the compass. Let's go. Jimmy? Yeah, I need to lock him in so I can try to do a two for one on 110, 111. Hey! All right, let's go. Don't be acting up now, Jim. Come on, no. No, 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 no. I'm here. Come on. Get your butt back in there. Down here. You playing around. Let's go. Jim, you act up earlier. Don't don't start right now, okay? I gotta get out of here. You boy, you gotta get out of here. Let's go. Better be in there. Do a two for one. Get to the elevator as quickly as you can. Jimmy should be out. Okay. Oh. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Gotta go, baby. Sorry. Get to the stairs as quickly as you can. Sorry, baby girl. <laughs> All right, Jimmy. This way. Back to business, Jim. Hey. Jimmy? Come on. One more time. One more time. Hey. Where you at, Jim? Where you at? Oh, uh, boy. I'm here. Oh, uh, let's go.
All right, Jim. I want to make sure you're in 110 now in the bathroom. Don't be outside. Um, please, let, please be in the bathroom. Got to go. Don't act up now, Jim. Don't act up now, buddy. No, Jimmy, no. We got to go. All right, 303, then we out of here. Let's go. It'll be busting through there in no time. as quickly as you can. Down here. All right, Jen, one more time, buddy. One time. This way. Let's go. All right, Jim. Let's cooperate. Oh, you outside, you bum. Nah, get back here. Jimmy? Get back here. Hey. That's why when you play this game, you gotta learn to listen for Jimmy. Ain't about just going in rooms. I'm here. You gotta listen up for that man right there. Come on, Jim. Even though I'm not going to break my personal record on rescuing my five friends, but I do own that as well. All right, 303 is right there. I think, yeah, the, I, I, the, my fastest time is 8.58. I didn't post it, though. On my YouTube, it was not says nine minutes, but I didn't post my 8.58 yet. Come on, Jim, one more time. One time. Being there. All right, we're gonna have some fun with Jimmy right now. He's yeah, using that lock pick, right? He never see Jimmy open the door when he um picks that lock. You can stand right here, he'll never open that door, he'll just sit there. Where you think you're going, Jimmy? Where you think you're going? <laughs> Where you going, buddy? <laughs> Where you going? <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. I'll keep you here for a little while. Have some fun with you. All the speed runs you messed me up. You almost messed up this one. 
I'll talk about it after I finish the game here, though. I'm gonna lock it one more time, then I'll leave. Where you going? Ha, ha, ha. 